to Urban Wine Life on the Bougie Black Brother Network. Good afternoon and welcome to Urban Wine Life. I'm Michael, your Bougie Black Brother, and I'm here for my weekly wine review. And today I went back to Europe for a different grape that most people really aren't familiar with. Uh, They are a cross between a Pinot Gris, uh, Sauvignon Blanc, not as sweet as a Riesling, but on the same lines of a Gewürztraminer. And this is from Austria, because this is an Austrian wine. So Austria has a lot of similar wines like Germany. Um, and this, this grape, this Gruna Veltalina, uh, Gruna Veltalina is one of the, I think, indigenous grapes that's in that area. And I said that because if you really want a similarity and really want to kind of reach out and do something with your palate outside of a Sauvignon Blanc or um, something like a Pinot Gris, not quite Pinot Grigio, but a uh, uh, Pinot Gris, uh, this is the one for you. Um, this one is far and wide. Uh, I got this from Wink. It was a little package of about three or four wines that I got for about $50 a piece because I get them discounted. Price point is $22. Um, and then they said the actual, uh, I got it for like $16.99. Um, so I'll say it now. Um, I wouldn't normally do a $16.99 uh, Gruna Veltalina unless it really popped out and really impressed me. Um, so this one is a little different. I had one earlier. So if you look at some of my other previous uh, reviews, I had one called Lois, L-O-I-S, Lois. Uh, I did that one a, uh, about a year or two ago, no, about two years ago. And it was a uh, Gruna. It was okay. So when I had an opportunity to buy one in a package, I decided to grab this one. So what is it about these Gruna Veltlina? So they always tell you that it's kind of dry. Um, It doesn't have the heavy, heavy sweetness of these other white wines, but it doesn't have the grassy notes, uh, the little herbal notes like a Sauvignon Blanc would have. Uh, it has like lemon rind, lime, pineapple, and wet stone. Um, so I, I broke this one open and I said, okay, so what does this one give me? So let's grab it real quick. So the other one previous would, had this little greenish tint as well. If you look at that, it has that kind of greenish tint. Um, and I had it with something that was slightly spicy. Um, because it's supposed to have somewhat of a spice. I should have had a Gewürztraminer instead of this, but I just wanted to see if this really blend well with that. So let's get a whiff of this. So you getting that fresh pineapple. Um, that's what the, when I first drunk it and no, when I first opened it up and took a whiff, that was the first thing that came out to me. I was like, ah, oh, pineapples. Oh my God, this is going to be one of those delicious citrusy um kind of on the slight swedish sweetest um tone on that and i was like oh i couldn't wait so it has that and it has that clean refreshing smell on that so let, let's get a taste so I thought I was going to get that, (laughs) but I didn't get it. So most of this is flat. And I'm being honest with you. It's a more of a flatter taste, which is not good for me. If you really going to have this fruitful aroma coming off and that and and it it addresses you with those type of aromas, you expecting to have it in what you taste. Um, I really doesn't the lime and even the lemon portion really isn't um, enough so you can say oh that one stands out everything is so flat in that sense Um, and it's not as dry as I thought it would be um, because I thought I tasted and the flavor be gone but the taste is so forward that I say "Mm," then it was gone but I tasted I didn't get anything 
then it was gone. So it may be dry enough, but you're really not getting a good flavor on the front end. Uh, is it refreshing? Eh, eh, it, it, it'll do fine. I think this is something that you would really like to have with salads. Um, it doesn't offset the spiciness. It has enough to kind of play off the spiciness, but not enough for you to enjoy the spiciness. So this Gruna Veltlina is far and wide, and um, it was part of the Wink um, package that came in. I think I'm on my third one now, but not very impressive, and not, and definitely not a $22 price point. I honestly got some uh, Veltlina, Gruna Veltlinas for less than $10 that I was a lot more impressed with. This one as a $16, uh -uh. so I'm telling them this one isn't good for me. But I'm Michael, your bougie black brother. Check me out on urbanwinelife.com so you can see all my wine reviews and everything that I drunk and just go from there. Um, if you want to see what the wine looks like, what the bottle looks like, you know, we bring that forward for you. Um, go to uh, bougieblackbrother.com. Check that little target thing in the back. Bougieblackbrother.com. No, Bougie Black Brother Network on YouTube. Bougie Black Brother on YouTube. Bougie Black Brother Network on YouTube. So check me out there. You can get to see all of that. And you'll be able to do your own assessment. Look at the colors. Look at the, the wine bottle and just go from there. Outside of that, thank you very much for stopping by. And we'll see you next time on Urban Night.